topping 70 percent of millennials said they would vote for a socialist, according to a 2019 YouGov poll, and with the growing likelihood that the next Democrat presidential nominee will support some form of socialism, the founder of Young Americans Against Socialism is leading an effort to educate her generation. One America's Jen Pellegrino has more from CPAC. Morgan Zegers, thank you so much for being with me today. Thank you. I'm glad to be here. So this theme for CPAC this year is America versus Socialism. You founded Young Americans Against Socialism. Can you tell us a little bit about your organization? Of course. Well, I came up with the idea around November 2018 after the squad was elected and after a Gallup poll came out that showed officially a majority of people my age would choose socialism for the future of the country. I was shocked. I had no idea. And I really wasn't well read on the issue. I mean, I knew the basics, but overall I was just really disappointed and embarrassed by my generation supporting such a failed ideology. And so I did a lot of research as to how socialist movements and socialist leaders have come to power in the past, how that is mimicked right now with Bernie Sanders, AOC, The Squad, Democratic Socialists of America. Uh, and I was really concerned at the connections that I saw. So I really want to educate my generation with videos on social media. And Morgan, you're 23 years old. So impressive. Most people your age are just getting out of college. A lot of them are supporting socialism. What's your message to them? Well, so a recent poll came out, Victims of Communism, that says 70% of people my age would vote for a socialist. My message is, I do not think 70% of people my age want to seize the means of production, want to nationalize industries, the definition from the dictionary of what socialism really is. I think instead they believe by electing Bernie Sanders and getting rid of capitalism that we're going to end up like Nordic Europe. And that's the biggest lie that we have to work on before the election in 2020 and even in the long term for the country. We need to develop an understanding that Nordic Europe relies on capitalism. Yes, they have big government programs, welfare programs, and really high taxes, but they rely on the wealth created from capitalism. And so I just, I want to equip my generation with the truth, with the facts they need so that they can call out Bernie Sanders and not fall for those lies when they're told them. Why is the younger generation so focused on socialism? Why are they supporting Bernie Sanders? What, what, what is yeah. appealing about that? Well, first of all, it's easy. It's a lot easier to be a socialist than it is to be a conservative with principles and uh, responsible spending and, and limited government. Uh, it's definitely an easier talking point, especially from a podium, to promise free everything. But uh, two things that I focus on, and I'll focus on them on my speech on Friday at CPAC, is you have to create a desire for wealth redistribution. And I think Bernie Sanders and the left have really successfully done that using the student loan crisis by saying those evil rich people have all this money that you don't have. It's not fair. Give me power. I will use government force to take it from them and give it to you. It's, it's training them to support such a radical idea of it's not fair. They have it. We're going to use government force to take it and redistribute it. And Morgan, for our viewers out there that maybe they've got a friend who is, is going down that path towards socialism, they're supporting Bernie Sanders, mm -hmm. where can they go to learn more? Well, we have every social media account you can imagine, but most importantly, our, our website is fightsocialism.org, and we're really excited.